So before we start our next video adventure, this little segment is for Sean 330, a fellow Gog. Yeah, fellow North Walian, fellow Gog. You see, look, Reggie, Reg and Deb, family fern. Um, and, and this is for all of you, really. How do you keep... Yes, I was one of those nerds that used to walk around with a camera on my um on my face and used to film anything and everything that moved and we built this buggy look you can see the small sections i didn't know how to put them together well i've only just learned to put them together but these were made on videotape uh movies so they're they're really old they're, they're going back to the 90s and um they're uh how do you protect you know, you've got tapes, you've got pictures. How, how do you stop them from the damp and the wet and the rain and the getting lost? You've got tape machines. They don't do the machines. The machines won't read the televisions now, the modern televisions, without an adapter. Well, just get them. And a good friend of ours um, put, a, put, put the tapes, transferred the tapes onto the discs. But again, the discs are okay. But um, they're not, look, 19, for, that's when I first, first year of passing my test, so that'll be 91, something like that. Um, yeah. So, um, putting them on a disc isn't the safest place to put them, your old films and tapes, because it could be a scratch, it could be lost. Somebody wants to borrow the tape, it goes missing, it gets damaged, it's, you know, it's, it's vulnerable, isn't it? Uh, this is Tear Kreuz, by the way. Anyway, um, the best way to do it is set yourself your own little YouTube channel just for you that you know. Put some ob obscure name on it like you've put on this one, Reg and Deb, Family Fern. Put it in that way and you will find us. I wonder what the numbers are at the end. I don't know. Maybe you have to put them numbers in. Anyway, if you look for Reg and Deb, Family Fern... You'll see how we keep the safe. We've got a few uh, motorsports, building rally cars, doing buggies. This is the JJ Brown uh, Road Rally um, motoring news event. A bit of grass tracking, you know, all this uh, from way back. You can see there's not many views on them all, is there? <laughs> the old Avengers. I used to run an Avenger, yeah. Knocking about. Um, as we all, petrol heads. We've all been young petrol heads, haven't we? So these are the days of when we were young petrol heads. And we've always, toys, you know, whenever we've had a chance at toys. This, the only reason I've got this these tapes is, uh, do you remember, there was no such thing as credit cards. There was no such thing as finance. The only money you could buy something posh at that time was in the club. You could, uh, your, your your auntie or your uncle or your granny was running a club, weren't they? A catalogue. So this was something posh that we were able to buy off the catalogue and pay weekly for it. So, yeah, that's how, that's how it was then. But no such thing as credit cards. Uh, no such thing as instant credit or none of that sort of malarkey. Yeah, this is this has been... And then, of course, we've got a few family things. Um and uh, the odd few holiday, little clips of holidays, way back, way, way back. Um, Conway Crossing, this is me working in Conway Crossing. Yeah, um, Sean will know about that. Uh, and a few, you know, bits and pieces. And look how young Debbie is there. <laughs> and we've always liked Goldens. And I'm a, a muckshifter before... Before I started on the road and was on the road wagons, I was a muckshifter. Peter Stevens, Hawkins, EPL, Langs, you know, all that sort of a thing. So it's basically look look at Debbie in the in the go kart. We'd done some deal with somebody somewhere, and okay, I'll take in your go kart as a partex or whatever, and we were messing around. Yeah, long long time ago. But where is a safe place to keep these things? Where is a safe place? Christenings, you know. Okay. 
they're being work yeah so i think set up your own youtube channel and hopefully it's not like vhs not like betamax come and gone um hopefully youtube will be there and you can put it on a flash thing on your computer but if you lose it you won't lose it if you put it in youtube make a little channel name it whatever you want just for your own use um that's the safe safest place i think at the moment to keep it and all these are all grown up and married and got kids of their own now <laughs> yeah so that's how long ago it was so yeah let me just take you back to that's what you've got to put in look and look for that reg and deb family fern so there's the ho the housekeeping done let's do the rest of this film so let's go and listen to what rob has to say well, Sheddies, and you join me again in my shed. We've all got ratchet sets and uh, sockets that we use pretty much on a fairly regular basis. But if you're like me and you store them all on, the, on a, a tool wall, which I've got behind me there, um, if you want to do a job in the house or in the front driveway or in your car or whatever, you've got to take them all out with you, unless you've got them in a box, of course. But then I still tend to lose them. So I thought I'll get something that is an all-in-one device. So everything in one unit. And I've just bought this, a multi-wrench by work zone. From Aldi, the middle aisle again. <laughs> Normally I'd say I went in for a loaf of bread, but this time it was to get a battery for uh, a grinder that I'm unable to get. I don't know why, but we'll come on to that in another video. But first of all, let's open this and see what it's all about. It's called a multi-wrench 18 -1. And it's for sizes 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17, 19, and 21 millimeters. No change of sockets necessary. Interesting because it only looks like it's got one, two, three, four. It must flip over or something. Let's have a look in a second. Nice rubber handle by the looks of things. Nice box. Part number, where is it? Um, I think that might be the part number. So you can see we're watching Weekend Shedhead. And are you uh, going to be there at seven o'clock tonight? It's Rob's turn to host uh, a shed chat, shed shed man's chat. Yeah, will you be there at seven o'clock? I will be. <laughs> so look out for Rob at weekend shed head. Mm. Outside the local Aldi in Walsall, where I live, around the corner, I've diverted here. Let's go and get this tool that. Uh, time flies um in the shop was uh, on about come on let's go see if we can find it i've never been to an aldi before well, I, may, I may have no i don't think i have anyway let's go see if we can find it middle aisle he says in the middle aisle well i'm in the middle ish aisle middle ish aisle um where what aisle should i be in is that straps here uh travel kit so i suppose if it's anywhere it's gonna be around here somewhere having said that though there's outside lights here ah spa there's pliers over there let's go and have a look over there shall we let's go and have a look over here and see if we can find it <laughs> where were those pliers oh a few tools an impact drill thing. What's that? Oh yeah, for drilling holes. Oh, I should have come here, shouldn't I? And I wanted that. Oh. Ah, is this it? Oh, no, socket set. Nine ninety nine. Wow, that's a good buy. Ah, have we found it? Nine ninety nine. Multi wrench. Multi wrench. Yeah. Get a nice unmolested box. Here they are. This is the one. Oh, the socks plugs extension. What are these? A wood engraving set. Oh, boxes of screws. <laughs> oh yeah, nuts and bolts. What's in here? Something missing out the box few electrical impact drill batteries 
battery charger thing. Hmm, yeah. Oh, that looks interesting. Ooh, quite heavy. Is that a router? I think it is. Let's have a look. What does that say that is? Yeah, a palm router. Does it say how much? Hmm. Oh, oh. You might find, apparently, apparently you just come here. You just come here and what's here is here and what isn't here. You might wait for it to come around again. There's pliers here. Mm. Yes. Pliers. Hmm. Okay. We've come, we've seen, we've conquered. So we've got it. Let's go and um, let's carry on then. Let's go and pay for it. There's all sorts of food is here. I thought Aldi was mainly a food store foreign food but I, I I haven't been here there's gardening stuff here look the lizard nice sort of it's the sort of place you come to fetch this and you end up spending 30 or 40 quid on stuff that you didn't plan to buy but you think oh I'll have that yeah there's alcohol here the devil's brew yeah milk Wow, come on then, let's, let's crack on, yeah. Let's crack on. Well then, look at this, a double bonus. I haven't had to dip into my 20 pound Sunday car boot allowance because I've been able to play with plastic. So when you get it on eBay or Amazon, it, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't count towards my 20 pound car boot money so ooh, <laughs> she won't even know it's gone ooh, lovely lovely so this next film is for rob at uh, weekend shed head did you spot the deliberate mistake i did mm. yeah i thought it was uh um time flies in the shop but uh no so anyway i've got the first version of it and they're just, they're just like Rob says, you, you don't want to carry a full kit, but you just want an odd spanner. And for the price, I think I've seen these on eBay and that, whatever now. I've seen them dearer, but you can get these for as cheap as about seven quid or whatever. And it's just a handy thing. This, well, this lives on the bench with all the rest of my stuff on the bench. And when you just want an odd sized, you, you, you can just want to hold the other end you can flick this around that fits just holds up when you're trying to try hold two ends rather than go and get a spanner and whatever i find it quite useful and it's a great um now's the time to start collecting for your um secret center and if you've got a if you're in a secret center and you want to and you want to buy something for your a male person in your secret center buy one of these just, you know, cheap and cheerful. What's your limit on the secret centre? Usually a tenner or so in it. So let's get to the next most modern version. Yeah. And Rob is right. It's, it's actually got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's, it's a one in eight tool because the in, inner, if you're turning the smaller size, it's fine. And then if you want a bigger one, you this pushes out of the way. And there's a socket under there, look. Really? That's clever, isn't it? So it is actually eight tools. See, eight tools, eight spanners in one. Yeah, and you can you can go um you can righty tighty lefty loosey on it, which is you know, which is great. It's just one of those things that you want to throw in the back of your car. And it just might help. There might be something coming loose and it might be just a case of, I need to tighten this damn thing up. Or you might have a bit of a breakdown kit um, that you carry with you. And then you think, hmm, actually, I need two spanners to tighten this. And you just haven't got that second spanner of the size that you want. So the, for, the, for the price, I think I paid $9.99 in LD. For the price... Uh, it's worth just throwing if you've got a boat 
if you've got a caravan, if you've got a whatever, just stow it away somewhere handy. And um, like I say, the reason I saw it and liked it instantly and had to go and get one, first of all, to make a film, and second of all, uh, I'd already bought the sort of the first version of it, as you might say. However, this, whether it's the same firm or it's all Chinese stuff, it's all Chinese stuff. But when you need it, you need it. It might just get you out of trouble and it's worth just throwing in the tire well in the in the back of your car, whether you help you or somebody else. Yeah. Hmm. So just and work zone out of Aldi work multi wrench. Um, like I say, um, I've never been there. Uh, we had a bit of a tour, didn't we? So, uh, hmm, Rob, Rob from Weekend Shedhead. I think that was an excellent recommendation. Excellent recommendation. Yeah, and I had to have one because I've got. Let's say the version before it. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, what you got to remember, what are we doing? As tool collecting crackpots are collecting the tool of the day 100 years ago. Will they survive 100 years? Will they survive 150 years? And, you know, somebody will be ogling these in 150 years' time on YouTube. <laughs> Saying, wow, what a fantastic bit of kit. <laughs> yeah, when these are when these fad tools sort of things, things that don't stay around for very long, when this is gone and buried and no more, and your great 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 grandchild has got one, this will be the tool that nobody's got and they'll be worth a lot of money. Well, hopefully anyway, hopefully for them. <laughs> So that's all I've got for you today, yeah. So I'm not sure what we're gonna see this morning, but we've come to the wrong, um, we've come to the wrong um, entrance. This is a sort of place where it's, um, we should have gone the other entrance, the other security gate. So cause he, uh, he rang the bloke, he says, right, I'm gonna use the internal road now. So that might be interesting. So let's see what we can see. This is a new look place in Stoke. So we love doing these, don't we? These internal roads. <laughs> Down here, left. Find the other. The bleeping is the. Um, the bleeping is the. Um, oh. Are we doing the right thing down here? We got to be, aren't we? Oh, wow. This is interesting. <laughs> well, this is their internal link road or something. But again, look, if they want us to go somewhere else, give us another road and another postcode. Uh, but anyway, no matter. This has been quite interesting anyway, hasn't it? So, we should have come through this other gate, apparently. Which is clearly on another road and I guess another postcode. Anyway, we've got to go down here, and see the other gatehouse and turn around. So let's have a look. By the wash, yeah. Something by a wash. Yeah, right. Past the wash, there's nothing that way, is there? No. Wow, this is a big place, isn't it? I want F24, so I want to come back to F24, which is the bays here. We're at F11. Keep going, F16. <laughs> There's a gate there, but I don't think it's the gate I want. F18, no, keep going. 
Keep going. Ooh, maybe not then. Oh, if I drop the clanger, I might have to go round again. There's no F24 there anyway. Hmm. Let's keep going and see what we find. Nice and wide. Where on earth? We've missed something, haven't we? Have we? We don't know, it feels as if we've come all the way around. It feels as if we've come all the way around. Hmm. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. <laughs> We've got to have been all the way down now, haven't we? Yeah, we've gone round the block, I think. Reggie, you silly ass. We should be back by that other gate somewhere. Okay. Let's go and check that out. So, we went round the block. I've discovered what I did wrong. I, um... We're supposed to go through these gates. Right, so we've been here before, haven't we? Let's uh let's go through the gates. Gotta go through these gates. Ah yeah, they're opening for us now, look. Oh look, two sets of gates. Blimey. Well that's nice. So we're gonna go through these gates. Yeah. Right, we're back on track. Then we've got to go left, and then we've got to sort of turn ourselves around in a turning area. Wow, wow, there's some big places. Thank you, right. So now we've got to go. We're going to stay here, we no entry that way, fine, okay. Turn left. Right, so this gatehouse should have had a different road name and a different postcode. Hmm, it's mad, isn't it? It's mad. Anyway, apparently, oh, F24, F24, was it? Yeah, F24, I see the bay we want. So now we've got to go over there to the Weybridge, that gatehouse, to turn around so that he can, um, so that he can break our seal open our doors for us and lo and behold here we are here we are him at the end look he's turning around turn around at the bottom so that the there is a another gatehouse we're looking at a little gatehouse but there's another gatehouse around around the corner of the left so he's put that there so he can see a, a break his trailer, break the seal on his trailer. And then he's gonna come up here and come on one of these bays, somewhere along here. There's a whole row of bays here as well. Blimey, what a big place. But definitely, if they wanted us to come in that entrance, if it's even on the same name, it should be a different postcode, shouldn't it? There's quite a big difference in between. But there we are, welcome to containers. We're here, we're here on the bay, look. Where are we? We're here on the bay. We've got a red light, that means stop. Don't never come off a bay if we've got a red light. We're getting on well, we're getting on well. Let's go and have a peekaboo, see how they're getting on, hmm? Oops. 
How we doing boys? Are we winning? Boy oh, nearly there. Oh, they're going down here, look. It looks like they're going up there, look. Hmm. Oh, keep an eye on that. the bar the looks of things we'll have a listen you can usually hear I'm guessing he's about here yeah hmm we're getting on we're getting on we're getting there Definitely not up the front yet, is he? No. But he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Oh. 